By simply copy and pasting your YouTube video into Opus Clip, you can generate a month's worth of content. In this video, I will show you exactly how you can do that for your YouTube Shorts, and I will explain to you how Opus Clip works. My name is Dan, and I create videos about AI, marketing, and video editing. You can follow me on my channel that's called Dan Kieft, where I upload videos weekly. First of all, I will show you to what creator this is best for. Then I will show you how to generate your Shorts using Opus Clip, and I will even show you how you can edit them to make them even better. First of all, this is best for any type of content creator, whether you are a educational content creator like I am, or you are an entertainer. This works perfectly for you. Second, this works really good for people that own a podcast. You can literally create tons of shorts by just importing one podcast, which I will show you later in this video. Besides that, this also works for product reviews, motivational videos, in general, any type of video that has talk into it because the editor is based on the transcript. Once you're at Opus Clip, then what you want to do is you want to upload a file. So I already have my video right here, but it can be any type of file. So for example, I am using a YouTube video link, but you can also upload a file or you can do something to Google Drive, Vimeo, Zoom, anything that you're using. So you're simply just going to get free clips and then it will start loading up your video. Here we can see my video right there. We can select the language. Then we can see the credit usage and then we can go for the quick presets or you can make your own templates. But for this video, let's keep it simple and let's use this karaoke template. Now we can select how much of our video we want to use. So let's say you have a really long intro that you don't want to use in the clipping, then you can just skip that part out. So I'm just gonna do the full video because I want to see what they come up with. And then once you're done, you get, click on get clips in one click. And now this usually takes around like 10 minutes. And I've already done it so we can speed up the process. So here we have our video and here we have all of our different clips. So from that nine minute video, about 14 clips. Now keep in mind, not all clips are usable in my opinion, but if you take a look at the top clips that you have, then you can see that they are pretty good. So this video is a top five video. I talk about five different AI videos and let's see what it has created. With their new vision, it is able to write code from tests that require visual reasoning, like interpreting charts and graphs, for example. Now, besides that, it can turn this data into slides, which you can then use for your presentation. Like seriously, where was the so yeah, that is pretty good to me. This is exactly a part that I would cut out in my videos. But we have another part right here. Let me just show you this one. The first topic that I want to discuss are AI avatars and specifically from HeyGen and also a little bit from Synthesia. When they first released, their AI avatar was honestly pretty sh now, in my opinion, this one looks even better because this one was exactly at the start where I was introducing a new AI tool and it took a clip from that. It tells me like why it is a good video. So they like the hook, they like the flow. It has some engagement in there. And in terms of the trend, it's talking about AI avatars and their advancements. So that's a good video overall. Now, if we want to further edit this video, then we can do so as followed. We can click on edit clip and here we are in the editing timeline. Now, don't get overwhelmed by this. There's a lot of information on the screen, but let me walk you through it. So on the left hand side, we see our transcript. And if there is any mistake in our video, then we can change it right here. So let's say, for example, like here, for example, trended should be threatened. Might be because of my Dutch accent, but I can change it like right here. So now I can correct this and now this mistake is fixed in my caption. Besides that, if you want to make your clip any longer or any shorter, you can do so in this timeline editor, but you can also change it based on the transcript. So what I will do is I click on add a section and then it brings me over to my transcript and I just want to add like these parts in there. So this is a part where it demonstrates the product and it has cut it off like just a little bit too early but now i'm adding this in and it will load it in there like you can see right here and now our video will be a little bit longer but honestly it looks a lot better 
Apart from editing your text and making it longer or shorter or changing the text, you can also add in some transitions. Now, this video is already edited, so I'm not going to add transitions because it might overlap. But just to show you how it works, if you click on transitions, then here you have six options to choose from. So you can do, for example, a crossfade, a cross zoom, and you can just click on it and you can see the transition appear right here. And now we can see that we have a transition right there. Over here on the right hand side, you can change your template. So let's say you don't like this style, then you can select a different preset template and you can use that one in your video. Now, if you like the template that you have made, then you can save it as a new template. So let's now change the settings to make this video look even better. So if we click on clip layout settings, we can change the aspect ratio. Let's say, for example, you want to have it 16 by 9 or you want to have it one by one. You can do so right here. Besides that, you can change the auto layout. I'm just going to leave it like this because it does a pretty good job at changing our layout. And then we can also change the captions. So within the captions, you can select if you want to have like three lines, like for example, here you can see like three lines, or if you want to have just one line, and then it will show you just maybe one word or just multiple words, but all on one line. Now you can also change the position. Let's do for example in the middle because my face is up here and we can change the animation if you'd like. Mostly I like to keep it clean so I'm either going to do like bounce or I'm going to do none because I like to keep a clean captions on my videos but you can do anything that you want in here. You can also change the amplified words color. So you see on the left hand side, these words are like green or yellow. And if you just click on your words, you can click on highlight and here you can see your highlighted colors. So if you change them right here, then you will see that it will be changed. Now Opus does already a pretty good job at highlighting your words, but if you don't like it, then you can also like turn that option off. Next up, we can change the font, we can change the sizing, we can change the colors of the text. We can also change the font stroke if you'd like. Mostly, if you are a beginner, I would suggest go through the presets, try out what you like the most, and then change or tweak it a little bit based on your brand colors or based on your liking. Now, here we have the AI keyword highlighter. So I said you can toggle that off. So let's say I toggle it off. Then we don't have any highlights in our video apart from the animation. Now, let's toggle it back on and just leave it like that. Then we have AI emojis. You can either change this to have this on or you can add them in there. And now you can see in your transcript. So let's say right here, we can see this sound emoji. Sound like the movie you heard. Now the emoji appears right here. We can drag it around. We can position them higher. We can do anything that we want. Just keep in mind, if you drag around your emojis, you might have to do it for all of your emojis to get them in the same position. And that's pretty much it in how you can edit your captions. Now, if you want to add in some B-roll, then it works as follows. So we can go to auto B-roll. And here we have our generated B-roll. We can edit in stock B-roll or we can make AI generated B-roll. And this one is pretty cool. It will make B-roll based on your text. So honestly, I have a pretty hard transcript for it to find a good B-roll, but let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so we have a bunch of B-roll in here. We have a AI avatar or an AI looking person. Then we have another one based on a laptop screen displaying an AI generated avatar. Looks pretty good. Here we also have an AI avatar that is based on a friendly expression. And this one is a Redisk photo of a clear desk. So why is that? So yeah, it pretty much went off the text that I have given it. So mostly it used the AI avatar for this. But you can change this, you can rewrite the prompt and you can generate anything that you'd like with this. Once you're happy with your video, you click on save changes and now it will export your video again. You will have to wait one or two minutes and then you can download your video. You can also export your video as an XML file. This allows you to further edit it in Adobe Premiere, but that's a bit more advanced, so I'm not gonna dive into that. Let me now show you some clips that are generated with the Andrew Huberman podcast. So I have taken this podcast right here and I put it into Ops Clip. So if we go back to home, then you can see that I put it into right here. And for this podcast that is about almost two hours long like 39 shorts for this so that's pretty good for a podcast that's almost two hours long 
Now, if we take a look at these shorts, it looks like this. So I use the Ali Abdal font for this, and it looks like this. So if an infant has a stroke and is paralyzed on one side, usually they can make an excellent, if not complete, recovery. Um, this is the... So yeah, even with two persons, you can see it changes in between like who is speaking. If we click on edit this clip, then we can exactly see how it works. And you can also edit your videos further with this. So first of all, if you want to reframe your character, let's say he's out of frame, you can double click and then you can go to the right or to the left. And this way you can reframe him and make sure he's perfectly in the middle, but he already was for me. So I'm just gonna keep it like that. Then if you go over to your other character, you can also see we can reframe him right here. So his shoulders are a bit out of the frame, but there's not much we can do there. We can also zoom it in if we just like to have his face on there, but honestly, I would like to keep it like this. So that is pretty much how you can create a ton of YouTube shorts within a matter of seconds through Opus Clip AI. Now, if you have any questions about this tool, leave them in the comments down below and we will try our best to answer them for you. If you'd like this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this, then click the video that's on the screen right now.